Now, with the video everyone saw over the weekend, the King, LeBron James, scoring 42 points as he played in the Drew League, made up of a lot of the best players in the world, the former pros, international pros. He was out there with DeMar DeRozan. Then, LeBron, on the latest episode of his show, The Shop, was talking about his championship mentality entering year 20. Listen to this. I'm obsessed with it, with winter bus, and what all, what, what, what makes me have sleepless nights is when you don't have everyone that feels the same way in your, on your club. Like, it's times where I wish I was like a tennis player or a golfer, where it was literally like, look in the mirror, mother is you versus you. Well, come on. I mean, sometimes we just make this too easy. So LeBron James just said, I would rather be a tennis player. It gives me sleepless nights because I'm all about win or bust, and it makes me crazy that everyone on my team doesn't feel that way. How would you like to be another person on his team hearing him say that? Well, I mean, it's just get at my level, right? That's what it is. But he also, like, goes into the Drew League to remind us that he's still here. Remember, we haven't seen him play basketball in months. Mm -hmm. We haven't really talked about him a lot. We've talked about the Lakers, but not him. So him showing up at the Drew League, I mean, at his age, playing against guys that are 12, 15 years younger than him, mm. probably all pros, but still, uh, doing this is, I don't know, Tim, it, it feels like, hey, everybody, don't forget about there, me. There let's are always talk, messages. And right? let's put out this also message. Well, so, so there's the message of his words from the shop. There's the message of his actions yep. showing up and playing in this, in this highly publicized, you know, off-season league. What, how are we interpreting the messages? Well, the other message is my team isn't good enough, mm -hmm. right? Which is why he wants to play by himself. Because if he was playing one-on-one, -on -one, you'd probably take your chances picking LeBron James against just about anybody. But you're not playing one-on-one. -on -one. You're playing 15 on 15 and even five on five. And in those settings, the Lakers are just not good enough. Last year, LeBron was outscored. The Lakers were outscored with LeBron on the court. First time that's happened to his team since his rookie year in the NBA. I think that just sums up the talent gap that exists between the Lakers and the other contenders in the West. And as we've talked about a lot over the last few weeks, it is not going to be easy for the Lakers to make that up, which is why LeBron is out here saying, I'd like to be playing by myself because anyone have to worry about that. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.